whatever the case, we gotta focus on Zyro versus Burst right here. Absolutely. Game number one, Yoshi, PT. I guess they were going just <laughs> sticking with their mains right here. All right, we got FD. I'll right. go with the up throw up there. I like it. Yeah, Zyra also elected to start out with Ivy Sword. Normally, not something you commonly see against PT. You usually see Squirtle starting out, but I know Zyro quite likes to play as Ivy Sword. He does. I know he's a big fan of the Pokemon Ivy Sword. First off, and uh, I find Ivy Sword is actually his best character. He's very good in terms of uh, spacing. He's very patient as a player. Uh, really recognizes his flow charts and his bread and butters, and uh, it's what's helped make him so successful so far in this game. So it's all depending on how Burst reacts to the Ivysaur counter or matchup because Ivysaur does have some slow moves, quite lagful, quite full of lag, yep. and slow on the start as well. Yoshi, obviously, very good Burst character on, ironically. All right. Fight Whip not going to quite take it right there. You got to watch out for that F smash. It is deceptionally good in range. For the Absor one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not a good change there from Zyra. I'm not sure what he was trying to get there with the Charizard switch, but um, opting to go back to Ivysaur again to start off his, uh, his combos here. And well, Burst has a lead right here, and Zyro now going to Charizard. It's, it's weird. You usually don't see Zyro go Squirtle that often. He plays Ivysaur and Charizard, but never see Squirtle come out. It's very true. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I'd have to ask him. Yeah, it's very strange. It makes sense in this case. Just trying to find that stock right there. Charizard does have the fastest up smash in the game, but he does not need it when he has a thick head like that in that up air. Yeah, and I like it. The instant switch back to Ivysaur. Uh, Zyro again looking to start off some bread and butters here with him. Yeah, but that's a re-grab right there, and he's got to take advantage of that burst. Managing to make it back to ledge again. I wonder if Zyro's going to catch on to those air dodges back to ledge. Oh, nice good wait. air dodge read right there, but yep. it's not going to quite take the stop yet. There we go. That next stop here is going to do it, though, and now Zyro has a full stop to come back from. Looking for the... Forward throw back air cheese, not quite gonna get it. That back air is so strong if you can get the sweet spot on it. Yeah. No right. doubt Yoshi would have taken the lost their stock right there. Alright. Edge guard situation here from Zyra in the back air. As you mentioned, there's that sweet spot coming in. We've got a one-stock game apiece. This is even despite everything. I feel like Burst has been able to take the lead every time, but Zyra managed to come back right here. All right, Zyro having a bit of trouble getting off the ledge here as Ivy. And this is the struggle I was talking about. Ivysaur doesn't have any fast moves, nor are they good Ooh, in terms of his leg. Quick change. Uppy not quite going to be enough to get Zyro back to ledge and uh, been anticlimactic, but uh, Burst taking game one. Yeah, you just heard as Zyro just exhale right there. You saw how disappointed he was. Maybe he was expecting the one jump he had might have been enough, but not quite. Charizard just missing the mark of the ledge. And that's going to cause Burst to take game one here. Mm hmm. Going to, oh, of course we are. Why aren't we doing Megalovania? <laughs> <laughs> Banger alert. Yeah, I know, yeah. Turn up your volume, turn up your headsets. I heard, I've heard this song way too many times <laughs> at this <Yeah>. point. <laughs> All right, so find me Omega FD. Omega FD. Probably just for the music counter pick, and I don't blame him. It's very true. It's time to get serious right here if you're Zyro now. Still best of three despite it being winner's quarterfinals, so... Yes. You're, we are not seeing any best of five sets until we hit top eight right here. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Gotta get Prophet Burst right there. He's been doing such a good job in keeping Zyro at the ledge. You just saw how long in that last set, or in that last game... Oh my oh goodness. Oh my goodness, he went high for that spike right there, and that's going to cause Zyro to lose a really quick stock. Yeah, and it's really unfortunate, too, for Zyro, because he had a very good combo start uh, with Ivysaur over on Burst to get him 64, and now it's almost like all for naught. That up out of shield is going to do a little bit of damage, but Zyro has to find a way to close the stock out fast, because Yoshi is such a good burst option. It's, oh, Starbits there doing some damage to Charizard, and unable to get the punish to Zyro. Zyro's just keeping up the pressure right now. Zyro cannot do anything about it. 
quick get off be fair right there, but it's not going to do anything. But that us mash definitely going to do something. Absolutely going to scoop up burst, and we've got a two stock game apiece. Burst with the slight lead here. All right, now Zyra is going to do those Ivysaur combos that he's so good at doing. Missing the Vine Whip, though. That Nair is so safe on Sheeta, I'm telling you. I know, believe me. Oh my goodness. Is there a leaf? No nope. confirm. Barely gonna live that back here. Zyro again finds himself at the ledge. Got to escape it. And then there we go. That fair is gonna do it. Burst. Trying to close up the stock up air. Not gonna quite do it yet, though. Yoshi having a plethora of out of shield options. Uh, nice parrying again. Not quite enough. Gonna take you. Not quite gonna take Yoshi off the top yet. Ooh, that's a strong backer I was telling you about. It's so potent, especially that close to the ledge. But Burst immediately retaliating. And now we're on the last stop each. Zara has to make something happen here to oh, bring things back. Yes, no, didn't, didn't go for the jab lock there. Yeah. And now, Zara in some trouble right here. He's got to find a way to win this game to bring things back to a game three. Forward throw, looking for the forward air, not quite going to get his burst. Zara again, struggling to get off the ledge as Ivasaur. Zara's probably playing a little bit more safe. No, smart right there. That would have broken shield if he didn't let go. Absolutely, that would have been curtains for the set. Zyra still has a chance. Going for a raw up beat and all the up and smash. And that's going to do it. Catching his jump burst, retaliating right there. And that's going to do it, 2-0 on burst. And he moves on to the winner semis. Yeah, good stuff to both players. Uh, I feel like Zyra just really had a lot of trouble.